have two setups for the trap. We have the wireless setup on the left and the wired setup on the right. On both setups, you're gonna have the larger or the two by four pads at the very end of the trap, right before that bony process on the shoulder. You'll have a two by two pad right where the neck and the trap meet. And then you'll have another two by two pad about two to four inches below that between the shoulder blade and the spine. You can see that the black end of the blue lead is closest to the heart at the neck and the opposite end of the blue lead, the red end of the blue lead is again on the inside or on the end of the electrode closest to her heart. The black end of the green lead again is closest to her heart on the electrode pad that is between the spine and the shoulder blade, and then the opposite end of the green lead, the red end of the green lead, is on the end of the two by four electrode that is closer to the shoulder blade. So you can see here we have the black end of the blue color-coded lead and the red end of the blue color-coded lead, and then we have the black end of the green color-coded lead and the red end of the green color-coded lead. On the wireless setup, it's very similar, a little harder to see here maybe, but we have the two by four pad across the trap, close to the bony process on the end of the shoulder. We have one end of one wireless lead on the two by four electrode end that is closest to the shoulder blade. And the opposite end of that same lead is on the two by two pad that is between the shoulder blade and the spine. The other wireless lead has one end attached to the two by four pad that is closest to the heart. And the opposite end of that same lead is on the two by two that is closest to the heart or between the neck and the trap. So here you can see the wireless setup for the trap and the wired setup for the trap.